Hello. Come back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on industrial electronics info, uh, working on sem semiconductor diodes. We have got uh, the question that is uh, from July 2022. That is uh, 2022. All right. So uh, let us see what we are given in this case. We have got question number three, uh, where we have got uh, the first part of our question uh given 3.1 that is to calculate a suitable value of a series resistor if a 50 milliamp current flows through a 15 volt zener diode uh when connected to a 25 volt dc supply there is no load attached to, to the zener diode all right so this is uh one and uh same uh actually is uh related to the August 2018 paper. Okay, anyways, uh, let us see what we are supposed to attempt this question. Uh, we have got here a Zena diode in this case, that's a Zena diode application, knowing that too, we have got our input. All right, so from the input side, we've got uh, something of this nature to the series resistor. So I'm going to have my series resistor here. Then our our Zena diode in this case, all right? So we are going to have our Zena diode here and to the output, all right? So this will go to the output in this case. So we are given that we do not have uh, the, load, the load resistor. So meaning to say uh, the current, remember from this concept, this is where we have got our V in. Uh, this is uh, our RS followed that we have got the current flowing is IRS that is going to give us the current across the load and also uh, the current across the Zener diode. But as we can see, we do not have this current here. All right, so that is uh, how our diagram is actually looks like. And uh, okay, so we are simply saying IL in this case is equal to zero. All right, so from our formula, we understand that the, vo the resistance across the the series part here, the resistance that is uh, connected in the series is equal to the voltage across the DC V DC, which is our V in minus the voltage across the Zener diode. So across the Zener diode here, there is a voltage drop that is there divided to the uh, currents that we are going to have. So we're going to subtract that is uh, the current across uh, the Zener diode in this case minus the current across the load. So if we check here, we do not have this one. It's a zero. All right. So we have got V in. Uh, here we are given uh, the resistor. Okay. If the 50 milliamps current flows through a 15 volt. So this is the current across the diode, which is the, the Zener current in this case, which is given as uh, 50 milliamps. So this is uh, 50 milliamps and we also have the voltage across the zener diode in this case here the zener diode voltage 15 volts so the voltage across the zener diode which is 15 volts and uh, also the dc supply that is our v in of uh, 25 volts in this case so we can simply substitute this in our formula that's rs is equal to v in which is uh 25 so we are going to have 25 minus the voltage across the Zener diode, which is uh, 15 over IZ minus IL, which is IZ, it's uh, 50 milliamps, that's 50 times 10 to the exponent of minus three, minus IL in this case, since there is no load, meaning to say this is going to give us a zero. All right, so that's here we are going to obtain RS, which is going to give us uh, 200 ohms in this case. All right, so this is how we could have calculated uh, the suitable value of the series resistor. All right, 3.2, the area where the electrons diffuse across the junction to fill the holes is known as, which area is that? That is our depletion region. In this case, we are talking about uh, the depletion region. All right, then uh, on 3.3, draw a neat labeled circuit diagram of a Zener diode as used as a take note when the when it is used as a voltage reference how are we going to connect the zener diode uh, as a voltage uh, reference in this case all right so this is what you're going to have as a voltage uh, reference giving our v in our rs in this case 
and uh, the Zener diode, and we've got the voltage across the Zener. So in this case, the reference voltage is equivalent to, to Vz. So that is how we are going to have. So the only conditions are that the input voltage should be greater than the voltage and the series resistor should have a minimum value that allow the maximum current to flow through the device. That is what you're going to have in this case. Uh, so this is the second diagram uh, or the second that you're going to use or that is uh, applicable when our Zener is used as a voltage uh, reference in this case. All right, so let us check the other part. We need uh, now our voltage as it is used as a voltage clamper in this case. Okay, what are the properties of a clamper? This is uh, what we simply need to have. All right, so this is what you are going to have when our uh, our diode is now, which is the Zener diode, is used as a voltage uh, regulator in this case. So uh, as a voltage clamper in this case. All right, so it is going to clamp the input voltage to a certain voltage. So this is what you're going to have at the output approximated at uh, 0 0.7 volts. And also take note the connection. Now uh, we are having our RS and our VZ. So we're not giving any reference voltage to say this one is equal to this one. All right. So what we need is that now during, like let's say, uh, how does it operate? All right. What, what is the operation exactly of uh, this circuit that we are given? All right, so the condition is that uh, let us consider maybe, let's say we are talking about the, the negative, uh, because it uses like half of the cycle, all right? We are going to talk about half of the cycle. Like, for example, let's say it is in the half cycle. The Zener diode is in a forward based condition, uh, connection. As the negative voltage, uh, that is the voltage that you're having, increases till voltage, threshold voltage, uh, the, the diode starts conducting and the negative side of the output voltage is limited to a threshold voltage. So this will be the condition that it is limited to a certain voltage, uh, let's say 0 0.7. So this is what you're going to have uh, when it is uh, used as a voltage clamper, that is a voltage clamper in this case. All right. But here we just needed the, 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 the second diagram. Sometimes they might need you to explain. So you have to explain each and every part. All right, 3.4, we were given a condition to choose from these uh, terms or whatever that you have in the brackets. It can be a sentence or whatever. We are given 3.41. When a Zener diode is used as a voltage regulator, it must be connected in, but in which bias? Is it forward or reverse bias? Uh, in the circuit. So uh, we, which connection when it is used as a voltage uh, regulator in this case? All right, that is in the reverse bias. Okay, so let's check. Okay, or, or, or so I thought like we, we have a voltage regulator before. All right, so this is supposed to be connected in a, in a reverse bias. All right, then um, we are given on 3.42, the diode uh, equation is given as, so remember your diode equation, this one, they might ask you to calculate the current, the saturation current, whatever that is from this formula. Now they are saying if the value of N is equal to two, a silicon or germanium type silico, uh, semiconductor is used. All right, remember N is affected by being silicon or being germanium. So N equal to two, that is for silicon, all right? So if N is equal to two, that is for silicon. Germanium is on a condition where N is equal to one. That is where we use uh, uh, N, we, uh, we use N is equal to one when it is a germanium type, uh, all right? So 3.4, uh, three, we are given the avalanche or the Zener breakdown is caused by collision, which is caused by collision. That is the avalanche in this case. All right. 3.44, a germanium diode is a saturation current of 10 times 10 to the exponent of minus 6 microamps. The current value can be written as 10 microamps or Pico amps. So it can't be micro amps because here, guys, already there's micro amps, but there's a 10 to the power of minus six that we are having here. So what does it mean? You are supposed to write this as a single unit, all right? So this is 10 times 10 to the power of minus six micro amps. This is what you're given here. But remember that micro means 
times 10 to the exponent of negative 6. So meaning to say here we've got uh, 10 to the exponent of minus 6 times a micro amp, which is also 10 to the exponent of negative 6. So from our laws of exponents, if you are multiplying, we add the exponents. So if we add negative 6 plus negative 6, this is going to give us uh, negative 12 in this case. So meaning to say, instead of writing 10 times 10 to the power of minus 6 microamps, we can write it as 10 times 10 to the exponent of minus 12 amps, where we know that minus 12 means a uh, pico amps. So meaning to say, this can be written as a uh, pico amps. So this is a uh, our answer in this case, which is going to be uh, pico amps. All right, so this is, uh, it, it was just a play around of units. They just want to test you. Can you convert from micro amps uh, to pico amps or from whatever uh, unit of conversion that you are given there? All right, so this is how we're supposed to attempt this typical question uh, from uh, this question paper. All right, guys, that's it uh, from Amazon African Motives uh, till we meet again.